But it's important to note that surgery is not the only approach. I know that there are other forms of treatment and we actually do have a graphic that shows us what some of those are. So if you can go over these with us and what these mean in terms of treatment for thyroid. Okay, so we'll start with surgery and hopefully we'll come back to it. Mm -hmm. Surgery is what we use for thyroid cancers, but we also use surgery for benign conditions like Graves disease, which is overactive thyroid gland, other benign thyroid nodules that are just so large they cause obstructive symptoms, and a few other cases like thyroid cysts. Radioactive iodine is used in two circumstances. One is hyperthyroidism for Graves disease, or it's used to ablate thyroid cancer. And let me just mention a word about radioactive iodine because it's so interesting. It's the magic bullet. See, the thyroid makes thyroid hormones as we talked mm -hmm. about, but the backbone of thyroid hormone is iodine. And okay. what doctors do is they take the iodine molecule and they make it radioactive, and then they give it back to the patient. Well, the body can't tell the difference between radioactive iodine and cold or not radioactive iodine. So the radioactive iodine is taken up by thyroid cells specifically with very high intensity compared to normal tissues. So it's a magic bullet. The bullet zones in on thyroid cells, be they normal or in cancer. They do the same thing and in they're most absorbed. cancers. And they're, they trapped and organified, absorbed. They cross the cell and they emit particles, radioactivity, but very locally. So it's a very smart kind of radiotherapy, unlike not so smart radiotherapy, say external beam, where it will destroy tissues in its pathway that are rapidly dividing. The radioactive iodine is so much better and so specific, mm -hmm. so we can use it to both treat hyperthyroidism and thyroid cancers.